Okay, uh, the reason for this video is to show how to, to take care of a problem that might arise with your Drake R8 with regards to the display. I was reading some information um, in the Yahoo forums and I came across uh, what to do. And this particular receiver doesn't have that issue, so it's really hard for me to demonstrate it for you. But I do want to show you the, the methodology to uh, correcting the problem. Uh, let's say you have a display and it's very dim, very uh, weak. There's a couple of potential issues with it. And the first one is called what they call an inversion, a function, uh, a function key inversion. And what you do to, to deal with that is you turn on the unit, you power it on, and you can see where the mode, uh, you can see where the mode select button is right here. Okay, right under here, all right? When the unit is turned off, that disappears, so you have to kind of get a sense of where you're at in some bearings. So what you do is you push that in, then you power the unit on. And now you see what has happened. It went from 10,000, it went from 10,000 down to 200, and that means that it has been restored now to its factory, uh, a factory operating. Uh, so if there's, if the function key was inverted, uh, it now is back to its regular standard uh, operation from factory specs. Now, if that doesn't take care of your display issue, then your, then then the next step would be to uh, uh, open up the unit. Now, what you have to do here is unplug it. So I'm going to just reach down here, if you'll excuse me a minute, and I'm going to unplug the unit because, uh, and you can see the power's off. I don't want to uh, get electrocuted, obviously, and uh, neither should you, so you would certainly want to make sure that you unplug the unit. Then what you have to do is remove the top cover. There are five screws that secure the top cover. There's two on each side, one here and one here, and then there's also a... There's, there's also one in the back, right here. Once you do that, then the cover slides off. Now I've taken, in order to, to save time, I have already removed these screws. So I'm going to take that cover off, set it down out of the way. And then when you take a look here at the unit, you can see that there are some, uh, there are some connectors. And these connectors can get oxidized over time. Now, according to the repairman at Drake, it is very unusual for a component failure to, uh, to, uh, to, to be the reason for uh, a display to be dim. It's usually that function key inversion or it is uh, contacts. And it is this right here, this, this red contact, and it may be a different color and a different RA, R8. But this needs to be removed, and it would be good to spray some contact cleaner on here and then reinsert this. Now, the, here's the thing. You may not have contact cleaner, so if you don't, you just work, you work, the, work it like this back and forth and, and, uh, and reestablish the contacts. The other thing is down here, you see there's another side to it. So you want to do this with both sides. It's back and forth, working back and forth. Okay. And those are the two things that you can do uh, if your display is dim. Uh, now at this point, what you do is you just uh, put the cover back on, reattach the five screws, and then you, uh, uh, you power it back up and see if that solved your problem. Neither one of those uh, two things that I pointed out are very difficult to do. First is, uh, uh, once again, just to summarize, the hold the mode button down while you power it on to return it to factory uh, to the factory readout factory specs and the other is to remove those five screws securing the top cover and then ideally spraying contact cleaner uh, carefully on these contacts here and down here or if not having that work you know exercise those uh, those contacts back and forth and by doing so that should uh, uh, hopefully, that will uh, enable those contacts to once again be made. Um, my understanding is that these connectors were really undersized. There's a fair amount of power that goes through there. And that uh, when Drake designed the unit, and this is according to someone at the Drake factory, that uh, when they did it, they didn't size these connectors properly. And they should have been sized a little bigger because they deal with a fair amount of current going through there. Um, and, and so, 
if there's a problem that arises, it, it often arises in, in these connectors here. Now, while you're in here, if you want to take uh, a minute and just uh, slide these other connectors in and out while you're here, just to make sure, uh, I mean, rock them back and forth, and, and you know, you're not going to hurt anything, and uh, and it doesn't take that much extra time, and then you just put the whole thing back together. Okay, well that's it for now, and I hope that's been helpful for you. Good luck with your repair.